In this video, we are going to talk about mathematical language and symbols. At ito ay request sa isang kaibigan ko na hindi na natin i-mention yung name niya dito. We will not go through the comparison between the English language and the mathematical language. Or shall we say English sentence and the mathematical sentence. You will learn its difference as we go along with all our examples. Kasi marami yan. Now let's go back. Dito lang tayo muna mag-start. 12 more than a number. Let n be that number or pwede ring let x be that number. So let's use x be that number. 12 more than a number. That means x plus 12. Next. 8 minus an unknown quantity. Let x be that unknown quantity or pwede ring let n. So 8 minus n. 14 less than a number. Let n be that number. Pwede ring let x be that number. So ang gamitin na lang natin ay n. When we say less than, 14 less than, it means minus 14. So 14 less than a number means n minus 14. Next. Six times a number is 54. Six times, so six times a number, let n be that number, 6n, is equals yan siya, 54. 54. Next, two ninths, that means two over nine. Of a number, multiplication, of a number. So, let n be that number, 2 ninth n. Or, this is the same as 2 ninth times n. Pariho lang yan siya. Is equals yan siya, 11. So, yan na yung ibig sabihin dito sa number 5. 2 ninth of a number, 2 over 9 n equals 11. Now, let's have a brief review before we will proceed. Dito muna tayo. Mathematics Dictionary. Word or phrases. At ito naman yung mathematical operation. When we say sum, sum of, added to, increased by, more than, and, pero yung and na yan kapag sum of uh, yung A and B, yung mga ganyan. So, usually that is, Addition plus addition yan siya. Addition ang ibig sabihin yan. At ito yung symbol niya. Next, when we say difference, minus, subtracted from, decreased by, less, less than, that means subtraction. Next, product, the product of, of, Multiplied by times per. Wait. Ito ay sa division. So, lahat ito, product, the product of multiplied by times, that is multiplication. Multiplication. Or itong ganyan. Multiplication. Yung may ganyan ba? Na A times B, ganyan. Multiplication. Next. Quotient divided by ratio per, that means division. Next, when we say equals, is equal to, is, the result is, becomes, yields, that means equal sign. Isa pa, para hindi makalimutan itong mga word and phrases to math symbols. Ito ay galing sa mathaids.com. When we say addition, plus and total of, all together, combined, together, increased by, mas kumplito dito. Add, sum, more than, added to, in all, make, 
Yan ay addition. Tandaan nyo ito. Multiplication. Times double, triple, product. Multiplied by of. Increased by a factor. Multiple. Twice. Yan yung multiplication. When we say subtraction, kapag ang sabi dun sa sentence natin ay subtract, decreased by shared difference, less, fewer than, gave, take away, minus, fewer, less than. That is subtraction, division, quotient of, per, ratio of, divided by, divided into, percent, half, divisor, split up. Then, sa equal sign, is, are, were, was, will be, yields, sold for. Next, dito sa parenthesis words, the quantity of, twice the sum of, twice the sum, times the sum of, times the difference of, plus the difference of. Now, let's do this exercises. Identification. Identify whether, whether the following is an English noun or mathematical expression. English sentence or mathematical sentence. Encircle the verb. Number one I three. Hindi siya sentence kasi hindi man siya kompleto. Three lang dyan. It is not also English noun. So, this is mathematical, mathematical expression. Next, the word cat begins with letter K. This is obviously English sentence. This is English sentence. At ang verb natin dito ay itong begins. Action word. Now, number three. One plus two equals four. Although this is can be answered by true or false, ito ay false kasi ang 1 plus 2 is not equals to 4. So therefore, kumplito siya na sentence. This is mathematical sentence kasi nasagutan natin na siya ay mali or siya ay false. Unlike dito sa number 1 kasi, isa lang, 3. It is just number 3. So, that means mathematical expression. Wala kasi siyang equals to or ano yung 3 na yan. Unlike dito sa number 3 natin, 1 plus 2 equals 4. This is false. Mali siya kasi hindi naman siya 4. So, therefore, this is mathematical sentence. Whether sabihin natin that is 2 plus 2 equals 4, Ito ay true. Both ay parihong mathematical, mathematical sentence. At ang verb natin dito ay itong equal sign. Yung equal sign, yung verb natin. Next, number 4. 5 minus 3. Hindi siya kompleto. Wala siyang equal sign. So, this means, this is mathematical, mathematical expression. Therefore, kapag wala tayong makitang verb, ito lang pagpilian natin, either English noun or mathematical expression kapag walang verb. So, dito sa number 4, that is mathematical expression. Number five, the tiger is black. Complete thought siya. 
Therefore, ito ay sentence. Ang tanong na lang kung mathematical ba or English. The tiger is black. It can be fact or fiction at hindi siya yung true or false. Sa true or false, doon siya sa mathematical sentence. The tiger is black. It can be fact or fiction. So, this is English sentence. Ang verb natin dito ay is. Number six. Two, why? Yan lang. Hindi siya complete thought. So, hindi siya sentence. Two, why? Meron tayong number. And that is mathematical. Mathematical expression. Wala tayong verb dito. Next, number seven. X minus five equals zero. So, obviously, complete thought. So, this is mathematical. Kasi may mga numbers man dyan. This is mathematical sentence. At yung verb natin dito, kapag, may, kapag sentence, may verb tayo. At ang verb natin ay itong equal sign. Next, number 8. Ganon din siya. Meron din siyang equal sign. This is mathematical sentence. At ang verb natin dito ay yung equal sign. Number 9. Mini cup cooper. Yan lang. So, hindi siya sentence. Ang pagpilian natin ay English noun or mathematical expression. Obviously, this is English noun. Next, what is wrong with me? Complete sentence siya. Complete thought. So, this is sentence. Hindi siya about some mathematics. So, this is English Sentence. What is wrong with me? Ang verb natin dito ay itong is. Sa next na exercises natin, ito yung wag niyong kalimutan itong words and phrases to math symbols. Kasi, we will translate each English sentence to mathematical statement. English statement to mathematical statement. Write your answer in the space provided for. 5 more than x times 3. So, this is 3x plus 5. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng 5 more than x times 3. 3x plus 5. Next, number 2. A number added to 5 minus p. Let n be that number added to 5 minus p. Idagdag ko lang sa number 1 bago tayo magproceed sa number 3 para hindi kayo malito. Itong 3x plus 5 ay pariho lang sa, baka ito yung gagawin ninyo or exam, ito yung magiging example ng teacher niyo. Pariho lang siya sa 5 plus x times 3. 5 more than x times 3 ay 5 plus x times 3. Pariho lang sa 3x plus 5. Now, let's proceed sa number 3. A number increased by 13 divided by x. A number, let n be that number, kung ano man ang variables na gamitin, Pwede kahit x, y, or any variables. So, sa atin ay let n be that number. Increased by, so plus, increased by 13 divided by x. Pariho lang din yan kung n plus 13 over x. Number 4. 5 less than 10. Tandaan nyo to ha, kasi maraming nagkakamali nito. When we say 5 less than 10, yung 10 ang kuhanan natin ng 5. So, this means 10 minus 
5. Again, 5 less than 10. Yung 10 ang kuhanan natin ng 5. So kaya, this is, this means 10 minus 5. Number 5. A number decreased by 7. So let n be that number decreased by 7. That means n minus 7. Kasi si number daw kinuhanan ng 7. n minus 7. Next, let's translate the following to mathematical statement. Number 1, 10 more than x. This means 10 more than x. Pariho lang din sa x plus 10. Pariho lang yan siya. A number increased by 13. So, let n be that number increased by 13. Yan yung ibig sabihin dyan. Next, 5 less than 10. Again, si 10 ay kuhanan natin ng 5. That means 10 minus 5. Number 4. A number decreased by 7. Let n be that number kuhanan natin ng 7. So, this is n minus 7. Number 5. But by the way, I hope sinagutan nyo muna ito bago nyo panuorin or tingnan yung mga sagot nito para mas meron kayong tinatawag nating pretest tapos sagutan nyo ulit after sa video ito. Number 5. Difference between 3 ay x and 3. When we say difference that is subtraction. So, x minus 3. Twice a number. Twice means magmultiply tayo to a certain number. Let n be that number. So, this is twice a number. Number 7. 10 times x. So, 10 times x. Or this is the same as 10x. Number 8. 9 times a number decreased by 4 is 14. 9 times a number. Let n be that number. So 9n. Decreased by, mag minus tayo, decreased by 4. So mag minus daw tayo ng 4. Minus 4. Ang is, that is equal sign, 14. 9 times the number decreased by 4 is 14. So, ito na yung ibig sabihin yan, mathematical statement. 9n minus 4 equals 14. Number 9. 5 times, okay, 5 times the sum of 6 and some number. When we say the sum of 6 and some number, so 5 times sa loob ng parenthesis ay si 6 plus some number, let n be that number. 5 times 6 plus n nasa loob ng parenthesis kasi sum of ang 5, i-multiply natin sa sum of 6 and some number. Number 10. The quotient, when we say quotient, mag-divide tayo. The quotient of W and 10, so divided by 10, is, equals to, is equal to, that is equal sign, 7. So the quotient of W and 10 is equal to 7. So, ito na yon ang mathematical statement. Next, abangan sa next na video because we are going to translate these and we will solve them.